Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. All right, so Elon tweeted on April 13th, Tesla semi truck unveil set for September. Team has done an amazing job. Seriously, next level. When did all of this happen? Yeah. Like, it, I mean, we, we've heard nothing about it. There's nothing on their website. There's nothing. I know. There's been no talk. This has been completely under the radar. Yeah. In terms of, you know, what I've been looking at. Well, it, we don't have a lot of facts other than this tweet. I mean, Elon is famous for just revealing things in tweets that no one was even privy to before. So, I mean, this is exciting. It's super exciting. I mean, thinking about semi trucks we talk about cars all the time semi trucks are a huge market right and we've um, talked about the nicola one yep. truck which is uh, a different company uh, mm -hmm. hydrogen uh hybrid, hybrid. system mm -hmm. um but since it's tesla i imagine it's going to be all batteries or something like that huh? yeah i mean th there's a lot of conjecture going around about how much batteries it could hold it could hold you know, like a two-ton battery that would give it a maybe 500 mile range wow. and people are talking about is that enough range what would it be a short haul would it be a long haul and that's why we're doing an in-depth here because there's a lot of truck stuff that you need to talk about if you're talking about trucks the first part about this that we do know is that the former VP of Worldwide Sales and Service, Jerome Guillen, is now leading the development of Tesla's Trucks and Programs Initiative, which began over a year ago. Guillen was previously the general manager of new product development at Freightliner, which is a big American truck company, mm -hmm. um, best known for their heavy-duty Class 8 diesel trucks. And his LinkedIn profile lists him now as the current VP of Trucks and Programs. He also used to work at Daimler, for their big truck program. So this guy knows his stuff. He knows his trucks. He knows his trucks. Interesting. Another uh, quote here from Elon is that Jerome is driving Tesla Semi and doing a great job with his team. At Daimler, he led their most successful semi truck program ever. So Elon obviously has a lot of faith in this guy. That's awesome. So I'm a normal person and I. You are? I, yeah, well, um, <laughs> and I don't know that much about trucks. Um, I thought you did. I, I mean, don't know. That's all you played with this kid. I, I mean, I had construction trucks, but I mean, like... You, you weren't as into the 18-wheelers. Uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got European Truck Simulator on Steam, but I only played, like, an, an hour of it. Um, There's your problem. So I don't <laughs> quite know everything there is to know about trucks. Well, here's some facts. Okay. Uh, about 70% of the freight moved in the United States is moved on commercial trucks. Wow, so that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, the U.S. Department of Transportation says that a staggering 92% of prepared foods are moved by trucks. 82.7% of agricultural products are moved by trucks, as are 65% of pharmaceuticals. Wow. So that's basically we're showing here that all the stuff in America, at least, in America, it, yeah. a lot of it is moved by truck. Right. Because even if you move it by rail, usually there's short haul and let's talk about that for a second okay um there's short haul and long haul trucks what we just learned about this okay so anything below 250 miles mm -hmm. is considered a short haul basically anything you can move in one day oh okay all right anything over one day is called long haul and there's some rules to that which i learned about which is that um, a driver can't drive for more than 11 hours and then he has to take he or she has to take a 10 hour break wow okay um and so that's called long haul, anything over 250 miles. We don't know whether Tesla is going after the short haul market or the long haul market. If, so, so are there different trucks for long haul and short haul? Yeah, so the big difference would be generally a long haul truck has a cab that has a berthing bunk in the back so that you can go to, go to sleep or so that you can have two drivers, one who's sleeping while the other's driving. I see. Um, so if Tesla was going to make a long haul truck, there's some questions. Would they make one that takes up extra space and wait for a birther? Um, but then you can't take advantage of a second driver because you can't, how would you drive and charge the battery? I see. But then could they do a battery swap? I see. Yeah. That seems so good. much conjecture, so many questions. Yeah. Um, we just don't know the answers to would, I mean, it seems like it'd be smart for them to go after the short haul market first, which is about 25% of all the trucks. So it'd be a smaller market, but least, like get your feet wet kind of thing. Right. Let's keep in mind that these trucks are probably going to be autonomous at some level. Okay. So that's a huge change because the idea here is that the truck is autonomous. Yep. And that takes away most of the accidents that happen. 
because many of the accidents that happen are from sleepy drivers and you wouldn't be sleepy anymore. Right. And the thought that Elon has is that he is he has said basically in the past he doesn't think that it'll be fully autonomous from the moment that they release it because obviously even if it has the hardware to do that it's going to take years before regulators feel comfortable allowing 18 wheel trucks on the road that are fully autonomous. So there's probably going to be a driver involved for the first few years, yeah. but maybe more as a supervisor. Right. And he said basically that they want to be collecting a lot of data and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's a lot of what the purpose of the driver is. Um, so one question that I have is if it's an electric truck, is it going to have all the gears that a diesel truck has? Cause I mean, I know mm. that a diesel truck can have something like 18 or 21 gears like you can just um you know to get up to speed and to maintain different speeds you have all sorts of different gears and there's double clutches and there's super air brakes and it's very complicated right procedure and system and everything i mean do you think that it's going to be a much simpler thing you i think, think so i mean the conjectures that i've been seeing is that when you eliminate the diesel engine and all those components that mm -hmm. the weight of that could be replaced with um, the weight of the motors and the, the electric motors and the batteries. Mm -hmm. And many people have been saying that it would have to be something like a two-ton battery to, to get you the range that you need. Yeah. So I want to talk about uh, this conjecture from Ryan Popple. He's the CEO of Proterra, which okay. is an electric bus manufacturer. And these guys are actually making electric buses as we speak. So okay. this guy probably knows what he's talking about when it comes to making large Larger trucks, right? Larger vehicles, okay. And he's thinking, he, he speculates that this, tem this Tesla semi-project could be more for internal use. Oh, so Tesla use. Yes. Yeah, so here's here's his quote. A fairly reasonable idea would be to move battery packs from the Gigafactory downhill to the assembly plant in Fremont, California. The reason I say that could be viable is they're fundamentally transporting battery packs. They could build battery packs and put them into the truck that's optimized for the shipment of those packs, oh. charge them with solar as a way of validating the pack, and transport them at maybe 50 or 60% state of charge. Wait, so is he saying that you would build a battery pack, mm -hmm. stick it in the truck, mm -hmm. have the truck transport the batteries that it's using, mm -hmm. and then you you take out the batteries mm -hmm. and like put in like half the batteries it's and pretty, it drives back empty. It's a pretty like, brilliant idea. That's kind of cool. It would be a great way to buy you some time and figure out, th you know, learn a lot about the truck. So, mm. um, and it would make you more sustainable because, you know, right now we have to... Sh Tesla has to ship those batteries in conventional means. So that's true. this would make it a fully sustainable... I love that idea. Um, that might be what they're going for. So we'd love to see your comments below, especially if you know a lot about big trucks, if you drive big trucks, uh, mm -hmm. if you you know have thoughts about the future of autonomous driving trucks, um, because it's our viewers that give us so many great story ideas and give us so much information that we didn't know before. We're doing this in depth about it because it's a big release, yeah. and yet there was a lot of information to get out there about how long haul and short haul trucks work and stuff right. so um, please let us know your thoughts thank you so much for watching this video um, we hope that you enjoyed it if you liked it you can hit the like button um, and if you really liked it and you want to see more you can hit the subscribe button don't worry if you want to unsubscribe at any time you can always click the unsubscribe button which is the subscribe button after you click it that yeah it's complicated but um, it's really not that complicated and it makes you feel better knowing that you're not locked into anything once you subscribe it's not like you're locked in for 20 months or something you just unsubscribe to anything anytime you want yeah now you know now you know <laughs>